Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 11. Alright, the previous episode. Um, one of the biggest revelations we had. Uh, lane is a homunculus. The lane that we are seeing, we have been seeing all this while. Uh, that is just a vessel. And the lane, the original lane, has been an entity which was born in the wired and it is now in the like you know like the personality is kind of inside the vessel inside the homunculus and that's why she is able to move around in the real world people can see her and we got to know that from the god or the person who is calling himself god uh, he he said that he's the creator of lane and most probably that is correct i'm not sure if that is like in a way i don't st still know like he said that he was his her creator in a way but i'm still not so sure about that because they kind of said that he is also like a fairy tale it's kind of like an urban legend that has been you know like going around in the wild for so long and that's why she was born so i'm guessing she like you know that's why like she was born so the god telling uh, her that she like, you know she has been in the real world because of him in a way kind of uh, denotes that yeah he was the reason why lane is in this world i we still don't know why she is here the actual reason why she is here but she is here uh, hopefully we get to know that as well in this upcoming episodes like what is her purpose we know how and who she is how was she born who she is that is that that we knew no now but why is she, she here that still needs answering and hopefully we get an answer soon so yeah that was the previous episode and let's see what lane does now oh and another thing uh, happened the knights are all dead in a way uh you know like the the men in black they kind of went caught them and you know injected some kind of like thing in them and they died i'm guessing that and the lane lane leaked their locations but she didn't know that they would kill them so yeah that was another thing that happened major thing that happened so yeah let's see what happens in this episode so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 11 of still experiments lane i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started All right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. All right. All right. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I wonder what she's going to do now. Like, oh, wait, that was abrupt.
What? Okay. What? In phonography. Oh. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, this memory. Half it and food. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but Oh yeah, this thing. So, what happens after that? I am I me lane is lane. Oh. Oh yeah, this this thing that happened. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Um, okay, I... Oh yeah, the... Oh yeah, she, she was, she's supposed to be an entity in the wire, so she's always everywhere. I'm guessing during when the time that girl killed herself, she was also there. No, wait. What the? F oh, were they friends? Were they like? I don't need to stay here. Think different. The sister. Oh, yeah, the dad. Okay, this is very weird, this episode. It's showing us random scenes and...
too. So then also the map the human genome. Oh yeah, what is this about? The whole thing... You know what? I was saying that I'm kind of understanding stuff, but half of the things makes no sense. The whole... Like, you know, now that I'm seeing, like, you know, remembering the previous episodes... A lot of scenes are completely random and... Damn. Oh, is this that that guy? Oh, the one who jumps in front of the train? Maybe. Oh yeah, the alien. All right. Oh boy. Yeah, this this is Oh my god. What the? Oh. What? Guys, no. What is what happened there? Like the first half half
Oh my god, the god is here. Okay, what happened all this time was... Was she like... I don't know. You've loaded an emulator of that nav. Okay, that was all the information flowing in. Okay. So the Navi is like in her brain now. After a problem. Kind of, in a way, if you think about it like that. Damn, that's a really interesting way to put it. Now, it's just a software, not a hardware. Oh, she's gone. Okay, well... Yeah, the sound that we always hear. Oh my god, what is that? What the? Oh! What's, what was her name? Arisa or something? No, no, that, that was not her. Chisa, Chisa. Arisa was the other girl, yeah. Yeah, that was what we were seeing in that scene. We see when he, he, when she waved goodbye. What you told me, what? Who is this? Oh, it's that guy. The guy who killed himself. In the... Siberia. That will let you do. Oh, great. Oh. Whoa. Okay, another abrupt. Oh yeah, this I says. Okay, who is here? What? Oh, 
Um, what? What's with the hand? Oh, that's lame. What? What's up with her hand? Like. And she's pretty short and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Boy, what is happening? Okay, let's see what did anything change? Okay, I think something changed. I think something changed. Oh my god, she, she made it. She undoed it. Yeah, okay, the thing she said. I'll undo it. Okay, here we go. There you go. No one knows. There you go. Rumors are gone. Okay. Ah, there you go. Everything is back to normal. Okay, I wonder is this the real lane or the Oh my god, I think it's it's the other lane. Or or maybe not. I don't know. I'm still not sure which lane that I think this is the the original lane, no, the one who 
Yeah, I think it is the original lane. The lane who changed everything. Okay. My god. <laughs> wow, this episode... The first part of the episode was completely... Um, those random uh, scenes. And... So that was basically the information getting in inside lane. That's how the god explained it. So... Okay. But... A few things we got to know, extra things we got to know from there is that... I never... I didn't think that they ever showed us that lane walked home with um Chisa, I think that was her name, yeah? Chisa. So this is the first time they actually show us that, you know, like where we see Lane and Chisa walking home together and then suddenly Chisa stopping and Chisa kind of saying that okay goodbye I'm going this way or something and then she you know turns around and goes away. I'm guessing after that she committed suicide and the lane that we saw on the rooftop was that the original lane or was that the wired entity lane uh, that's that's one thing i'm kind of not sure about um at, at the beginning i thought it was you know since lane is like an entity from of the wired she's everywhere at the same time so i thought it was probably something like that but then maybe maybe it was the original lane you know like the original homunculus lane uh, was on the rooftop with her when she jumped that's I'm still not, not sure about that section. But anyways, like the main thing is that we know that Lane was actually present. Both when she and Chisa was going home and again and also like when Chisa was on the rooftop, both the times. So in any way or form. Okay. So <laughs> the first portion was really no, unusual in a way like it was just like showing us those um you know those those scenes those random scenes and so when the gum uh, god, uh, god comes and she he says that you've loaded an emulator of that navi into your own brain so that's why all the information was getting in uh it's dangerous to subject yourself to that much information all at once. Yeah, so so what actually happened, I'm guessing, is not only her memories, she got information of everything that happened. That's why the god probably said that it's dangerous to subject yourself to that much information. Because as we know, the na Navi and the wired, it's like a wireless, you know, just like her internet. It's like something that is like everywhere at the same time. So I'm guessing like all the information that Navi has collected up until now, uh, all those information came, like, you know, came at all at the same time inside Lane's brain. As soon as she uh, loaded that emulator in her brain, the emulator for Navi, not only information regarding her, but all the different other inf uh, other informations as well. For example, you know, like there's one scene we see where the that guy who, uh, well. That guy who, who was like, you know, in one of the previous episodes who was asking, uh, like, you know, who's kind of wearing a VR and like walking around and he was asking like to let him into the nights, you know, and then he died. That guy, like, like, inf inf like inf information and stuff which are not somehow anyway related to Lane also got in. But we just saw little bits and portions which were relevant to us, you know, like the stuff that we saw. All this time in the end those were only shown to us but i'm guessing in reality every all information everything that navi has collected had got into lane's brain all at the same time and that's why she was like suffering at that moment you know, so much information at all at once and like this also sh shows like you know the whole th like theme of this anime is that the wired getting closer to the real world and mixing together with it uh, that this also kind of uh, shows that as well where you know like lane 
implanted an emulator which is supposed to be something that is related to the wired that is the digital world so that inside her own brain that is the real world so she introduced like you know something from the wired into the real world mixing it together and now it's like you know like everything is kind of the same for her she can just you know she's everywhere at the same time in a way and this shows that she has like you know, even though she's part of the real world she's also part of the wired showing us how real world and the wired has mixed together and okay the thing that the god says here is kind of interesting like the god says that just a sec uh lane says that don't compare me to a machine machine you, you're kind of talking as if i'm a machine the god says that no i'm not saying that you are not a machine but you are actually a software you're a software problem not program software problem anyways lane you're a software you're not hardware so yeah that's basically what you know like software which means a program that's what lane is it's not hardware hardware is something that exists in the real world so he's not that she's just a program an abstract thing which does not need any kind of physical form it's it's an it's an abstract thing a software an executable program with a body with a body with is not the body an executable program with a body and like that's i'm guessing that's the most simple way you can explain what lane is a software and executable program which just happens to have a body so yeah that's basically it and okay and then we get to the i don't know what that was you know in the middle of the street lane kind of uh he's a weird silhouette and then we see chisa out of nowhere and um, and then the other guy you know who killed himself i don't know what that scene actually implied but i think it was something like a dilemma that Mo lane was facing at that moment you know you know the whole thing where the like in some some shows or something you see that this is whole thing of the angel and the devil like you know like in your head like there's like an angel saying you telling to us like you know telling you good things like yeah don't do this and then there's the devil kind of tempting you to do it you know like there's like a tug of war between it and whoever like you know wins the war tug of war you do actually like if the devil wins you do the bad thing you know and if the angel wins you you stop refrain yourself from doing it something like that i think it was something like that here as well and you know because like the the guy who killed himself he was saying something like uh it's easy to die so here you go here's your gun and shoot yourself you know? it's, it's just die just like you know like he he basically he was kind of like the devil tempting her and i'm guessing i don't know jesus probably kind of like the angel here because she said that no it's not easy to die and it's not as easy as it seems something like that i don't know like this is just my interpretation of the whole scene i think it was kind of like a dilemma that lane was facing and they just personified her own thoughts into chisa and that guy you know like they didn't exist there obviously it was just her head she was thinking stuff like that you know like and she was kind of thinking about killing her you know mortal body and kind of going to the going back to the wire because she like you know like she suffered enough in a way so they did not show us what happened but i oh and then another weird thing happens like she kind of disappears and then there's this weird part i don't know what that was there's some huge things huge towers or something in the middle of the i don't know what that was what that implied like i i have no idea like like you know it's like there was like these type of electric lines going and yeah and then it's like abruptly ended there 
So, okay, and now I, I guess uh, Lane probably did not shoot himself herself because after that scene, we see Arisu talking with her friend and her friend saying that, yeah, let me just introduce you to someone and then the rumors will die down, all that stuff. And then Lane comes in and that probably shows us that she, you know, she, she kept her mortal body. She did not kill herself and go into the wire. It's just that she is kind of mixed together with the real world and the wired in, in a very weird manner. She's everywhere at the same time. So now I don't know what the whole thing of like, you know, like we see Lane kind of peeking into Arisu's room and I don't know what that was like, you know, her, what the hell was up with her body? She, she looked like some kind of an alien or something. You know, like this type of weird hands, short stature, weird legs. I am not sure. And what's up with that dress? Like that striped red and green dress. I have no idea what that means. I'm, I'm not even sure if that was some kind of symbolism or something. But, you know, I have no idea. But anyways, uh, Lane comes, it kind of peeks in. And Lane you know, tells her that, yeah, this is like all these things. I never did it. It was someone other than me. Obviously, Arisu does not believe that. And Lane says that, okay, then I've been working hard to, you know, undo that. And says that I've already destroyed the border. So I'm here, you know, the border between the real world and the wired. So I might be able to undo whatever happened. And I'm not sure what she did after that, you know. Probably, I, I don't know, like, most probably take, took, she probably took away everyone's memories or something regarding that incident, you know, and like the rumors incident. And that's why, you know, the next morning when I saw probably, and, and she probably did not take away, nah, she did not take away Arisu's memory. She just took away all the others' memory. Otherwise, well, yeah, like, why would she even do that? She needs to make Arisu realize that she, you know, like Lane corrected that. That's why she took away all the others' memories. I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm, it might be something completely different. I think that she probably did that. She took away everyone's memories, you know? That's why suddenly when, like, you know, the, they see the teacher, they're like, oh, like, look at that guy. Like, you know, like, she, there's a teacher. And when I ask them, they're like, what? Is there something going on between them? Like, yeah, give up. He, he has a girlfriend. Like, like... You better give up or something like that they said so that obviously that implied that they had forgotten everything or something happened that they don't know they don't even recall the whole incident the whole rumor incident and Arisu realizes that then Arisu looks back and we see Lane standing there and then Lane weirdly laughs at her smiles at her and I I think this is the Lane that we saw you know the lane who said that I'm going to undo everything. This is not the other lane, the, the nasty lane, you know, the guy, the one who's actually, um, what do you call it? Who, who's actually involved, who was actually involved in the, uh, the rumor incident, not that one. This is probably the real one. The, not the, I'm not even sure what's happening now, but this is probably the, the same lane that told Arisu that I'm going to undo everything. That lane, you know, otherwise, like, you know, uh, why, like, what can I say? The fact that she's here kind of implies that it's the same lane. So I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode, but yeah, mm, I think she's lane is probably trying to, I don't know, correct stuff, you know, like things that have happened that she didn't want to. Uh, I think she's probably trying to undo everything. I don't know. Let's wait for it. Hmm. I'm still not so sure about the whole uh, pizza incident. I'm still not sure what happened there. You know, and there's a few things still that are kind of still confusing. In a way, the whole, like, you know, like a lot of things that actually doesn't still make sense. For example, you, you remember that, that scene where there's this person who jumped in front of the train? Um, they kind of showed us here again that scene and I, I think they kind of showed us like there's like a newspaper article where they said that someone j 
jumped in front of the train and killed himself i think it's probably that guy but why were those kind of scenes being shown was that like a uh, I don't know, some kind of side effect of Lane being connected to the Wired? I think so, you know, because it became a news that this guy killed himself. And, you know, like, because it is a news, it, it's kind of like flowing, floating around everywhere. And that's how probably Lane saw the vision of that, because she's connected to the Wired. I'm not so sure. Like, and these type of small little incidents still don't make sense. Another thing that I, I really don't understand is... Uh, why did Chisa kill him herself? You know, like we saw that she jumped, but why? What was the reason for that? What did she actually try to do? Like, we also heard that she kind of said after she died that I don't need a mortal body. I, that's why I, you know, like I jumped. Prove that or something like that. I think she said. You no, know, like these type of small little incidents. There's a, a lot of more incidents as well, which I I can't recall, and I probably won't be able to. You no, know, like still don't have any answers for those. But as far as I could see, like I, like you know that like I've, I've been watching this uh, show for quite a long while, uh, episode number eleven. So as far as I could see, this is a show where I think a lot of things are supposed to not make sense. You know what I mean? You know, like for example, like there's like, let me just say like there's like ten or twelve scenes in one episode. Most probably nine or ten of them are like random stuff which are not supposed to make any sense. They're just there, you know. And within that nine or ten things that happened, two or three stuff which actually happened does have an explanation and would be explained later on you know there is meaning behind them it's kind of like that like you know like this like scattered around like there's like one or two things which probably would make sense and which has some reasoning behind it amongst 10 or 20 other incidents which make no sense which are not supposed to make sense i think it's some type like a kind of uh, this show is probably something like that that's why like you know like it's the one thing that actually really difficult uh, while you watch this show to actually realize is which thing to actually pick like oh there's like these type of things they're showing which one of it is something that you should actually pay attention to which would make sense later on you know like all these things it's, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack like, you know that one or two needle in the haystack where, where like you know which actually would make sense if you find a needle <laughs> you know so it's kind of like that as far as I can understand, like, you know, like, because most of the things makes no sense, like weird stuff happening. And I doubt all these things would be answered in the next two episodes. I doubt that. So it is something like that. They are just like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like that. Like I, I think this, this show is a show which is not supposed to make sense by the end of it. <laughs> The thing that's supposed to make sense does tell us that, but most of the stuff are not supposed to make sense. I think so, as far as I could understand. Like you know, I've been watching this for quite a while, and as far as I was able to understand, yeah, this is something like that, which is really cool in a way. Like I never, I think I don't think I've seen a show like this before. Yeah, I don't think so, because all everything like you know, which kind of starts like this, like at least stuff that I've watched. By the end of it, they kind of give us give us the explanation of everything. For example, um, you know, like I kind of reacted to this as well in my channel, Tatami Galaxy. It it did not make sense at all in the beginning. It's kind of like this, you know, it's kind of all over the place. And by the end of it, everything makes sense. You know, they kind of give us all the answers little by little. Like I've seen a lot of shows like this. Also, like uh, another show, another iconic show, Steins Gate. Uh, all the shows of the uh, science adventure series, Science Gate, Chaos Head, uh, Chaos Child, uh, what else? There are a few others as well. Robotic Notes, all these like you know shows. They're also something like that where it doesn't actually make sense in the beginning, but by the end of it, we get each and every answer, you know. But this show, this this serial experiments lane, is probably the first show where yeah, I don't think it will probably answer us most of the things most of the things are not supposed to make sense at all i think it is something like that 
that's kind of cool in a way because this is like the first first time i'm seeing something like this like you know watching a show like this so yeah that's kind of cool <laughs> oh boy like not everything has to make sense you know for you to enjoy something <laughs> oh boy all right so that was it guys that was my reaction to serial experiments lane episode number 11 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of serial experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day